Hello everyone. So I said I was going to make a video on protein powder. I still take protein powder. Um, it's just my current beliefs with nutrition at the moment. So not that I should take protein powder, but that I have to reach a certain uh, ratio uh, consistent with my training. Uh, if I wasn't doing weights, I probably would have less regard with this. But in my current uh, train of thought, I'm taking, or at least trying to aim for 30% of my calories to be a mixture of fat and protein, with fat on the lower side. So ultimately the goal currently is 20% protein, 70% carbs, 20% protein, 10% fat. Now, I can do that even as a vegan with uh, just normal foods. There would be no trouble doing it. If I was a regular cook, I would not have trouble doing this. I um can work long hours sometimes and throw in some laziness into that and it becomes a question of convenience. So to me, I still take protein powder. Now, the type of uh, protein, well, first of all, protein requirements. So the me for many years, I've been lifting for over 10 years, going to the gym for over 10 years, have always had the mentality and it's spread like gospel through the fitness community that you need some silly amounts of protein, uh, or silly amounts as prescribed, such as two grams per pound of body weight sometimes. It's just ludicrous that you need that much protein. I'm currently trying to go for a ratio of 1.5 grams per kilo of body weight. So for me, at 94 kilos at the moment, it works about 130, 140 grams a day. That's all I've had for the last two, nearly three months, and have not noticed any difference in my training, my output, or my size. I continue, I'm on a cut, so I'm losing body fat. My strength is retaining, some lifts are going up, and my muscle mass is holding well. So by nearly halving my protein, nothing has happened. Um, to the substitute is I get more carbs from, uh, more calories from carbs. So I'm still feeling very energetic. One of the most energetic cycles of cutting I've ever done, to be honest. Um, so what is that saying about a vegan diet? And protein is the most common supplement in the fitness industry, the highest selling, most common, and of course everyone is using whey protein, which is the worst. All right, I'll go into that later. I'll just show you first of all what I use. So currently, this and I am not working for this company at all. I've purchased from them for years, so this is, um, and this is Australian, but um, I don't know if they ship worldwide, probably not, but you've probably got something similar. So. Bulk Nutrients in Australia, I want to give them a praise for or um, a shout out for selling a product. They never used to offer a product like this, now they do. Um, and it is, to me, it's the ultimate protein. This is pea and rice protein. On their own, they are, don't let anyone tell you otherwise, research this yourself. Pea and rice protein on their own are complete proteins, meaning they have the all nine essential amino acids. Now, the argument is that uh, pea and rice on their own Whilst they have all nine, they may be lacking in some. So what they do here is make you, uh, by combining these two proteins, you get the ultimate combination and an amino acid profile that rivals even dairy uh, protein. So right on par nutritionally. Um, this stuff, um, this is a chocolate uh, flavored and in its weight is 80 to 83% of its weight is protein. Um, so, and it was actually, it is cheaper than, um, than whey protein, so. It's win-win. I got this, like I said, from Bulk Nutrients. In Australia, there's two main players in protein powder. So you either want to be buying from bulknutrients.com.au or venomprotein.com.au. Um, buy from those guys. Um, everyone should be doing this in every part of the world. There's always wholesales or wholesalers of protein. Don't buy commercialized products with fancy wrappers and spend millions of dollars on marketing. It's unnecessary. You just want protein powder, no other bullshit that comes with it. So I recommend these two. There might be others out there. I um, just want to give um, a shout out to these guys. I've been sort of switching it up. Um, probably been buying more from these guys since Earth Protein because to me it's just the best mix and I think it's $25 a kilo. You cannot go wrong. Now again, the amino acid profile. Uh, a lot of uh, dairy or anti-vegan naysayers will say that... Um, uh, vegan vegan protein doesn't have the amino acid profile, but I just described it before. They are complete proteins. They have all nine essential amino acids. They might be lacking in some of the other non-essential amino acids, but you get those in other foods. Vary up your diet, and you're not going to have a problem with this. 
But um, pea and rice protein are complete, and when they've combined, they are, it becomes a super concoction that's even better. Now, what I wanted to put up, hopefully I've found a way to put this up on the screen, but from Bulk Nutrients, who sell this product and also sell whey product, an isolate and a concentrate, you'll see I've put a comparison here of um, the nine essential amino acids per 100 grams, and I'm just comparing, so isolate... Um, or whey isolate, whey concentrate, and this pea and rice protein, and just comparing the pea and rice to the isolate and the concentrate, and you'll see it's a mix. It's it's I wouldn't say it's too far behind. I mean, some it's actually uh, superior, on others it falls a little bit short, but it's still there. Now, again, what's wrong with whey? Well, okay, it might have a high concentration of protein. Uh, the amino acids might be good, but this stuff is derived from the dairy industry. Now, the dairy industry is arguably worse than the beef and meat industry. Cows, at least you could argue that the in the meat industry, the animals, their life is ended, uh, hopefully instantly. Uh, in the case of dairy, it's a prolonged uh, period of suffering for the animals. The cows have to produce young to keep lactating. Their young is taken away from them and turned into veal, or they're artificially inseminated to even become pregnant. Um, they're, and they're slaughtered when they can't even make milk anymore. So what is what good is coming from this? And why do we even need to support it when a plant-based protein is just going to give the protein requirements you want and it is ethically clean and will make you realise the same, reap the same benefits than you would have of normal way? Now, I suppose another major question I can address, how does it taste? Um, this chocolate one... Is pretty much, think of it as if you've ever had a uh, casein protein, it has a real sort of uh, chalky texture to it, which I would describe this as. But um, the taste, chocolate, it tastes like cacao, cocoa flavor, real basic. If you drink a protein for taste, then you're doing it for the wrong reasons, and you're most likely drinking, if it tastes good, it's generally shit. Uh, the best tasting ones, I've tried them all, um, the best tasting ones are things like muscle milk, um, Syntha 6, assuming that's still around. Taste, they taste great, very delicious. Um, Synthesis 6 is about 50 to 60% protein. It's crap, it's low quality, it's full of sugar. That's how it gets its nice taste. Muscle milk, no better, similar product. Tastes great because it's full of so much flavoring and sugar. It's not a great protein. You're having this for a protein, it's a protein supplement. If you want the protein supplement, get go for the real deal. Get unflavored, get an unflavored, healthy plant-based protein and you'll get, you'll, satisfy the purpose you're consuming this for, which is a protein hit. The ultimate message I want to get out of that and tell you guys is that have realistic levels of protein. Consume a plant protein, healthy, ethical, uh, cheaper, better for the planet.